Uh, thank you so much for coming out to the Paley Center. Uh, my name is Rob Hubel. You probably know me from Little Fockers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why she said that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I prefer to, uh, to be known as uh, my beloved character, Russell, on this show. <laughs> and um, when I got the call from the Paley Center uh, about an hour ago to host this, <laughs> I said, uh, oh, is it for my favorite TV show, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? And they said, no, and I said, fuck you. What show is it? They said, for the league, and I said, oh, well, maybe there's some way if I host it, they will agree to have Russell Moore on the show. So that's why I'm here. <laughs> Um, uh, but let's, uh, let's get into it. Um, uh, uh, how are you guys doing? The, the audience here at the Paley Center, fuck the people at home. How are you guys? <laughs> yeah? Uh, please welcome to the stage the cast of the league, Mark Duplass. <laughs> John Lajoie. Steve Renazizi. Yeah! Katie Azelton. Nick Kroll. Uh, Paul Shear. I think Paul Shear is in the bathroom, but he might be coming. Uh, and please give it up for uh, co-creators and uh, executive producer directors, uh, Jackie Marcus Schaefer and Jeff Schaefer. <laughs> this is a very important night of discussing <laughs> television. Oh, here comes Here's Paul. Paul oh, here comes Paul. Paul. Uh, I love that you. was so tender, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. This is kind of a kind of a fuck you to Paul and to his character because as a joke, we no I'm not joking about this. We told Paul that we were doing a thing at the Paley Center in New York. <laughs> Just figured we would keep it true to the, the show and the, the history of the show. So Paul Paul's is in New York. Is in New York in New at York, the yeah. facility yep. there. Uh, he may he, he may flew be, himself. He flew himself out <laughs> yeah, there for yeah. too. He himself a first class first ticket. class ticket too. That's yeah. weird. We were supposed to be on that flight. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, but thank you all for being here and uh, thank uh, the people on the internet for stopping to masturbate for a few minutes um, <laughs> to talk about this. But um, but I wanted to talk about just. They don't have to stop. By yeah. the way. <laughs> You, d you could do both. <laughs> Just yeah. focus on one person and keep going. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> if you try to go from person to person, you'll end up getting distracted. I'm masturbating too, right now. <laughs> too confusing. Um, but I guess we'll just start with like uh, some very sort of sort of easy questions, and then we'll get into the disturbing stuff. <laughs> um, but but Jeff or Jackie, um, where did the idea for the show come from? I know you guys get that all the time, but um, but where did the, sort of the original I idea for the show come from? Uh, it's all Jackie. Um, it was Jackie's idea. She, um, actually, there's, there is actually a one moment like you, oh, I don't know, do we come, but there's like a one unique time, place in time where this idea came from. Gail um, King would call it her aha moment. We were actually, ski, we were going on a vacation. It was Christmas vacation. We Name were dropper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were skiing uh, in, in France, and it was Christmas Eve, and Jackie had gotten us reservations at this amazing restaurant. Uh, in the French Alps, and it was Christmas dinner, Sunday night. Um, the only problem was Sunday night in France was Sunday afternoon and back in LA, and I was in the Super Bowl of two of my leagues. <laughs> so we have this nice dinner, and I keep pretending that the food is making me sick, and I have to go to the bathroom. So I keep running out to the snow, just out to the snow drift. This is a while back, too. This is like pre-Skype, just to call at great expense to myself to see how my team was doing. I don't know what I could have changed. I just wanted to know. I had to know. So after the third time that I went to the bathroom, I'm uh, standing on a stove and I look up and she's just standing in the doorway of the restaurant just going, this is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. This is a great TV show. <laughs> <laughs> so. he, no, he had no jacket on. It was just a grown man stomping his feet like a child and, and nothing he could do. The lineups were locked, yeah. but you know. What happened? Did you win? Yeah, but the happy story. We got the show and I actually won both, uh, I won both Super Bowls and I didn't contract influenza. So it was a <laughs> win all around. Nice. Well, um, uh, and how many of you guys, uh, because I, I will just say this out at the top, I do not play fantasy football. I never have. I don't get it. But the show is like one of my favorite shows. And like, I think that's a testament to the writing and the acting on the show is like, I, I am not interested in the fantasy football part of it. 
but I do I like I watch football a lot, but I don't I just don't do that. So and I was just curious, like, did you guys I know you guys do it now, but did you before? Did you know about fantasy football? Was it on your radar at Steve all? Steve was the, Steve was the only one who was actually a fantasy football player before the show. I had played in a league with my high school buddies for about five years before we started the show, and much like Jeff, I was very into it. Um, and uh, I, I, I guess in in some aspects, I've been I've been labeled as like the expert on the for the sh for the show, but I'm just bad. Yeah, I'm just not good at <laughs> it. That's not what you used to say. That's only what yeah. you say now after the last two years. Of the you league. were you were good, and in, in all fairness, because I remember when we auditioned together for the show, you were really shitty in the room. Like you were a terrible actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then we realized he actually knew what he was doing, and we're like, I think we need oh, somebody. Someone's got an ad legitimacy. Yeah, he's a stats guy. guy. Yeah. yeah. But so, it should you know, be, certain it, shows have a straight man. He's our stat man. That's basically. it. So, <laughs> and he. So we've we've played now two seasons. So we have a league internally on the show of all of us, basically. And and uh, obviously Paul. Yeah. Paul, Paul, you don't have anything to say. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> but Steve has not made the playoffs either year. No, it's eight man. The top four make the playoffs, <laughs> and I haven't made the playoffs either year. And the two winners of the league. Are One and two, the Katie two and Jack. <laughs> it's just that they get so emotional if they lose. Though. And I'm just curious, like by a show of hands, like how many of you guys do fantasy football? Oh, oh wow. wow. Okay, so wow. what about Hulu? Guys out there, Hulu? Yeah, guys on Hulu. <laughs>